Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I don't know what happened, but I forgot to record an intro or I deleted it, but here we go. It is February 2nd and I just got back from Alaska and I was on a guy's ski trip where we kind of drank a lot of beer and eat some good food. So I felt my weight go back up to where I didn't want it to be. And I stepped on the scale February 2nd and it said 200 pounds even. And that is not what I wanted to have happen. I stepped on the scale again so I could record it. It said 199.8, but I saw the scale hit 200 pounds. So at the end of 2022, I got all the way down to 188.8 or nine. So I've gained 10 pounds back with holiday season and uh, my birthday, Super Bowl, sky ski trip. So I want to use the month of February to lose some weight again. This is what I came up with. Just finished workout number one, it's February 2nd. Yesterday was a travel day, as I mentioned. But uh, I'm definitely gonna do cardio, but I am not gonna do straight cardio. This workout was a one mile run, 21 air squats, 12 burpees, a one mile run, 21 air squats, 12 burpees, a one mile run, 21 air squats, and 12 burpees. And I did that in like 36 minutes and change. But if you've ever run and done burpees, and then tried to run again, it's not that easy. But uh, we're definitely gonna focus on weights. We're definitely gonna focus on the big muscle groups this month, but uh, this is just the start. Uh, my son goes to strength and conditioning class, so while we're here for an hour, I could just sit on my phone or I could run and do this workout, pretty simple. And uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna focus on some nutrition as well, so I'll show you what I'm gonna eat. The majority, we'll pick it up in the kitchen. I said I'd go over some of the nutrition. This is basically my breakfast for the past couple of months. I've got a quarter to a half of an onion and a tablespoon of bacon bits with half a cup of egg whites and two eggs. We've got three chicken sausage from Costco. Pretty tasty, only 100 calories, nine grams of protein, and um, lower fat than regular sausage. Got a piece of multigrain bread and some strawberry spread. No butter, no salt, no pepper. Tastes just fine as it is. This is about 40 grams of protein, 47 grams of carbs, and about 450 calories. And of course, we can't forget about the coffee. I have a love-hate relationship with these things. 45 each corner, one minute times three. Does a number on your hands. Just another workout, my quest for transformation, my 28 day transformation. Definitely a lazy meal. We've got some vegan tortellini because I'm allergic to milk just for my carbs instead of rice. And then I've got half of a Costco rotisserie chicken, uh, one breast, you know, the thigh and the wing meat and stuff like that. And then we're gonna use a sugar-free barbecue sauce, G Hughes. Um, this stuff has n virtually no calories because there's no sugar and it tastes pretty darn good.
overzealous there. Whew. I know I filmed that intro like 30 seconds ago, but I don't know what happened to that intro, the original one. Anyway, this was a good month. This is the first time I'm making this type of video. Um, you saw some of the workouts I did. You saw some of the nutrition that I, uh, I follow. Uh, if you are having trouble losing weight, the best way to start is with your nutrition. And I was going to make another video. It's like five things to do to help you lose weight. But if you're going to do anything, you got to start tracking your food. Start tracking everything that you put in your mouth because you will be astonished with how little protein you're actually having. I've been working with a nutritionist since I think about August. Uh, July, August, somewhere around there. And I've been following her parameters that she set for me and I communicate with her and we had to drop the fat, we had to increase the carbs, increase the protein, decrease, blah, blah, blah. I started off in a calorie deficit and I was only having like 1800 calories a day and I was hungry so we bumped it up and I'm at like almost 2100 calories per day. And I try to follow that to a T. Some days I'm over, some days I'm below. But the biggest thing is nutrition. If you wanna lose weight, you have to eat better. You can't work out for five hours and then have a really crappy diet because it just won't do anything. And it's amazing how you feel. Like if I have something that's higher in fat, if I have a day where I'm higher in fats, I feel it the next day. But if I have lean protein, like if I have chicken for lunch and dinner, then I'm going to feel so much better the next day because I'm not having, I'm not carrying those fats with me. And when you work out on top of it, you build muscle while burning fat and that is what you want. So even though my number went from 200 to 195.4, I'm still converting that fat to muscle and you just, you feel better and you look better. So I know this video was kind of a hodgepodge of different things, a couple exercises, a couple bits of nutrition. I love my breakfast and I have been having more chicken lately, just, you know, even if it's just two pieces of grilled chicken. Um, I try to mix a little bit of carbs because contrary to popular belief, you do not have to cut carbs to lose weight. You just have to watch your portion sizes. So if you are struggling to lose weight, if you are gonna do one thing right off the bat, it's watch what you eat and if I told you you can have anything you want and still lose weight, would you believe me? Because you can, you just have to watch your portion sizes. You have to make sure you get enough protein. And if you start tracking all your foods, I guarantee you, you're not eating enough protein. So uh, this is gonna be the first video in a bunch of videos this year where I wanted to kind of focus on health and nutrition, exercising, and once you start with your nutrition, once you make it a habit, of eating good or eating well, then the strength and conditioning training will come and you will just see your weight fall off. I had made a video, um, I don't know, probably about a year ago where I ate chicken and broccoli for each meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for seven days straight. And I lost like six and a half pounds, but I didn't do it the right way. So stay tuned for future videos on nutrition. I've learned a lot, but if you wanna just jump right into it, um, Tanya, is a nutritionist and she owns Life Minded Nutrition and she is the person that helped me get over that hump, get me to where I am today. I'll leave a link with her company website down below. That's gonna do it for this one. Like and subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.